There's no such thing as a dream job. And the sooner you realize this, the better off you'll be. I recently saw an article about a software engineer who got laid off from her tech job. The article opens up by saying that ever since she was in 10th grade, she wanted to develop software for prominent tech companies like Google. And she did everything that she could to set herself up right in order to get her dream job. In high school, she took computer science courses. She interned at Microsoft and volunteered as a coding teacher for younger students. She then went on to study at the University of Washington where she majored in computer science. She earned an internship at Facebook. And then after graduating college, she moved to Silicon Valley to work her dream job at Meta. Facebook's parent company. Then last month, Meta laid off more than 11,000 employees, including this young lady. This is her quote. I feel very frustrated and disappointed and maybe a bit scared because all of the sudden, I didn't know what to do. There's not much I could have done, especially in college, more than I already did, better than I already did. Tech layoffs have been all over the news recently. Honestly, it seems like no software development job in big tech is safe at the current moment. And this is why I opened up by saying that there is no such thing as a dream job. It seems like a lot of people who are doing overemployment have figured that out. And they're trying to game the system by working as many contracts as they can and make as much money as they can. And they show no loyalty to any of these companies. People work their whole lives to get their dream job, to work for the company that they wanna work for, to do the thing that they've been preparing to do their entire life. Within the blink of an eye, they lose it. All the work that this girl has done set her up for her dream job. She got her dream job. And as soon as things started going bad for Facebook, they laid off a bunch of people. And she just happened to be one of them. This is a common story that I've been hearing a lot. I see it on all different kinds of news articles. People who get their visa and end up abandoned in a city that they spent a bunch of time, money, and resources to get to, to get to a job that they've been dying to work, that they've worked their whole lives to get. And then they get fired because at the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line and you're expendable and they're ruthless. They'll lay you off even if you're expecting to give birth in a month. They just don't care. And that's why I say stop worrying about a dream job. Programming is a great career option. You can make a lot of money doing it. During a recession, during a bad economy, you can lose that job instantly and then everything you work for is gone. So what I urge people to do, which is something that, that I am now realizing needs to be done, is start building your own stuff. Whether it be a business, whether it be a social media following, whether it be your own software, your own company, your own agency, your own product, whatever it needs to be. Start focusing on the things that you can control. Don't expect to have that dream job when companies need to save money. Because when that chopping block comes and you have nothing to fall back on except for an emergency fund or some savings and you find yourself in a position where you haven't set yourself up with anything that brings you in money that you control, you're gonna be in a bad spot. And this isn't to discourage anyone who's trying to get into programming and trying to make money as a programmer. Go get your job but don't get too comfortable at that job. Use that to set you up for the next thing. And don't think that once you get that job, that's gonna be the answer to all your problems. Because if you have that mindset and you don't set yourself up correctly, you could end up being like this poor young lady, lost, not knowing what to do, because you spent your entire life trying to get something that you had no control of. And in the blink of an eye, just like that, you lost it. All right, that's enough doom and gloom for the day. Focus on what you need to do to get yourself in the right spot, even if it does mean having a job for a short time until you can build something bigger and better that will take you where you wanna be. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.